Hey guys, and welcome to another Factorio workshop. As always, I am joined by Mad Zuri. Greetings. And today we have a couple builds here. Uh, they are actually, this first one is a gear build that utilizes direct insertion from smelters. And this idea uh, actually, um, well, the specific in, in this design was actually Colonel Will's idea. And then uh, the build was actually kind of brought to life and, uh, you know, optimized by Hopewell. And then we have a circuit one down here that utilizes the same um, method, which Hopo came up with after designing this gear one. So uh, the, the, the main objective here is to essentially eliminate like bots used overall by having direct insertion, because typically uh, in a normal setup, right, you would have your smelters where the bots have to transfer iron ore to smelters and then the finish plate to a train, the train drives off and then goes to a gear station and the bots have to take all this iron plate to the gears, which is actually quite a lot since the gears take two plate per, and then they have to take the gears out and transfer them to another train, so on and so forth. So this eliminates like two of those steps essentially. Um, however, there are some potential flaws with them and Azuri uh, kind of found those. So I'll, I'll let you take over here with anything you have to add. Okay, there's a, uh, I think it's kind of silly using steel chests for this. First of all, when you could be using wooden chests yeah, I'd agree. There's a, we could use the same trick with a previous design with the... Uh, with um, these... It's smart inserters things. Yeah, these logistic um, limited inserters where, like with the steel build that we did previously, where it's like if ore is less than or equal to zero, they can unload, it would um, be more even unloading. And... Uh, Overall, probably help the bot travel a little bit if these are all evenly unloaded better. And the Zuri seems are you, you're stuck on the spot. Uh, I don't know what's going on. You know what's going on? Okay. Uh, so yeah, one note though here is that these do only run about fifty-eight percent of the time, so um, they only have that much uptime. But that obviously is. Uh, kind of the point, well not the point, but with this direct insertion build you can't get 100% uptime, uh, but we personally, I believe um, that it's worth it due to all the bots that you're eliminating from the process. And uh, yeah, that pretty much covers this one. We just have two iron smelters uh, delivering through boxes into circuit assemblers, which then output into passive providers. And uh, this is designed for 383 ore delivery and 242 gear trains. It could be um, either scaled down if you'd like or scaled up if you like um, fairly easily. And uh, I think that's about it for this one. Did you have anything else to add for this, Zuri? This one? Uh, no, Decorial is about 60% effective on the machines, right? Yeah. And this one is just slightly less than that. For the green circuits, anyway, it's about, what, 55% we calculated? Yeah. Other than that, it's just about the same pros and cons. We have vastly reduced bot movement with a direct stack, you know, from box to machine to and back. Mm-hmm. Right. So um, that's pretty much it. Obviously has an iron train and copper train that um, both need to come in and then uh, again for 383s and then 242 circuit train. Uh, like again Zuri said, just to reiterate that these probably, well not probably, they definitely could be wooden boxes for the transfer through um, since we're limiting to one stack anyways. Uh, and again, not full uptime, but it does, I mean this thing only uses about 650 bots and the one above it only uses about 550 bots um, which is not bad at all and the production numbers are 19.4 uh, thousand gears a minute and about 18,000 circuits a minute and uh, that I think that about covers it you know just some interesting designs if you uh, you know are interested in eliminating um, overall bot usage this is definitely uh, some some cool ones to check out and just a general idea can be applied to a few other things as well um, so hopefully this will kind of maybe give you some ideas as well
I wouldn't go much bigger than this or a much more expensive product than this, though. That's a very good point. Yeah, this is already quite large. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go bigger than this. But uh, I think that's gonna do it. You have anything else, Zuri? No, that's it. Alrighty, there you go, guys. Uh, blueprints down in the description, as always. Uh, love to hear your thoughts as well down in the comments. And uh, until next time, we will catch you later. Later.